Right, so now we're logged into NPM. If you haven't got an NPM account, then all you need to do is essentially register. So in the top right corner, you can see here, we need to log into this account. So if we go in packages, let's check if we have any packages, which we don't. So that's a good sign. Or if you already have some, it's fine. What the determines the package name is in the package.json file. So if we go in our package JSON and where it says name, so if you command F to name, this is essentially what the name of the library will be so if you wanted to have a private one then i, th I believe you can do at and then your name and then slash and that will make it private so at imran codes like that but essentially we want to make this public so let's just do react component library but this name might already be taken so what i'm going to do is call it something else so it's going to be imran codes react component library i believe that name would not be taken so let me just save that first of all and actually i am going to add some more description in here from the imran codes youtube channel just so it explains it further and then you also can add in the links for this which are here so we have the repository url in here as well so and then also the home page which has the readme and you can also add more to the readme if you wanted to i believe i'm not i don't have one at the minute but essentially you could add your own in just adding the instructions of how to use your repository and also other aspects such as storybook and you could also build the storybook and then host that somewhere as well so there's quite a lot you still need to do but we'll just configure the circle ci in this video so let me just save everything and then let's close this off and what we want to do is go back in npm we have zero packages in here so what we want to do is log into this account so we can then upload our code or our npm package in here so in our terminal we've essentially done some changes so what we now need to do is do npm log out or actually what we'll do npm login and then the username it's asking for is the username up here so this username is imran code so let's type that in imran underscore codes press enter and then it's going to ask for the password so i'm just going to type that in and then the email so i'm just going to put in my email imran codes at gmail.com and now it's asking for a one-time password so i'll check my email and put it back in so i'll be right back right so now you can see here it says i'm logged in as imran code so let's just double check that i am actually logged in so all i need to do is do npm who am i again and then this will say I'm logged in as Imran code. So that's fine, that's working. So now what I can do is we can publish to obviously Imran codes in here. That's where we want to publish our repository into. But first of all, we want to trigger the pipeline now because what's happened is we've added the run release and we've also published to NPM. So let's see what happens when we do both of these. So let me just add these in. So git add, and then we want to commit. But this time what we've done is we've added further configurations to the app and I'm just going to save that and you can this isn't a specific name I've put in there but again this all all of these commits will get added to your release file so what we want to do is we want to be more descriptive than what I've just done there but again we also did the release in the other commit so now what we want to do is do two commits so it's git push and then this should trigger a new pipeline so let's go ahead in our circle ci pipelines and once we refresh we should see the pipeline running which it is doing over here and now you can see there's a bit of a difference which is we've added the extra jobs of run release and published to npm so what will happen is we'll be right back because there will be some errors in this. Right, so now that's finished, you can see here, it says there's a error on run release. So therefore the pipeline stops. So let me just click on run release. And here we have essentially what the error is. So what we need to do is we need to set a git config user email and a git config user name. So then obviously that person is the person that's done the release. 
So we need to add that in, but what we will also look at is environment variables because we don't want to actually add in our email into the code in our config. So essentially in here, we don't want to add in the username and the email in here. We need to set it as environment variables. So let's go ahead and do that. So after run build in run release, we install the packages, then we run the release. But what we also need to do is do some extra checks in here so this will be run like that and then this is where we need to set up git and obviously add the user email and the username like so so now what happens is we want to set up git credentials in here and then essentially what will happen is we need to put in the user email and the username but what we want to do is get this from the environment variables in circle ci so what you would do is do the dollar sign and then you could call it git email and then this one will be dollar sign git name like that so we need to save this first of all and then also once it's saved we need to go into circle ci in the project settings and set these environment variables so if we copy the git email name and in circle ci at the top in projects then we have our project so you could have multiple projects if we go into react component again and then in our project settings we click through to here and here on the left it says environment variable so let's click that and then all we want to do is add an environment variable so paste this in which is the git email and then you put in your git email in here and then also you would do the same for the git name so i'll do that and then i'll be right back okay so now i've set the environment variables if we go back in our code and double check that this run release command looks correct so when we run release what we want to do is we want to have the executor then we want the description and the steps in here and then we run the command of set up git credentials which essentially set the git config user email and the user name so we put them in the environment variables then we run the release so that's fine what we also want to do is before we publish we need to make sure that we are publishing to the correct environment or the correct npm login information so the command is npm publish but we also need to set the environment which is essentially the npm token that we need so it could be npm underscore token equals npm token like that and now we need to kind of generate a token in npm and then add this as an environment variable in circle ci so what we'll do let's go in our npm over here so in npm if we go to the left here where it says access tokens let's click here and now you can see we have an access token but what we want to do is generate a new one and then generate a classic token then you fill in your password and continue and then you can give this a name so this is circle ci login or something like that and in the three options in here we want to do the automation one because what happens is it bypasses the two-factor authentication because we're doing it in our ci cd workflow in here and then what you would do is click generate token so so now that i generated the token all you need to do is copy that and then you need to add it as an environment variable in here so add environment variable and then whatever we named this token which was npm underscore token like that and then you also paste in the token that you get from npm into here so i will do that and be right back right so now we've connected the npm token i believe this would all work correctly now so what we need to do is go into our circle ci pipeline so if we press back and then in projects what we want to do is essentially run the pipeline again so all the changes we've made let's just look through them which is essentially the environment for our npm publish is npm underscore token and then the environment variable in here and then in the release command we need to set up some git credentials in here so once they're set then we can run the release so let's go ahead and trigger this workflow so let's add this and push our changes so git add and then it's essentially going to be git commit and then we want to put in here completed release and build and publish jobs and now let this run the checks with husky and then what will happen is we will run git push and then check and trigger the pipeline so now all we need to do is git push 
and then this will push our changes and then all we need to do is in our circle ci refresh the page now you can see the job is running in here and all of these steps for the jobs are running as well so now what happens is it did run the release but it didn't publish to npm so let's just double check what's actually happened in here and we get the following error which says you need to authorize this machine using npm add user so let's go ahead and fix that so basically what has happened is we need to log in first of all then we need to publish so let's go ahead and add that into our pipeline so what i've done is i've essentially logged into npm first like this then what we need to do is once we've logged in then we can publish to npm so this is all using the npm token that we defined earlier on so now what i'll do is i will first of all commit my changes and then i'll be right back once the build has complete right so now the pipeline is complete if we expand it you can see here it says link code run test build run release and then publish to npm so if we go into the publish to npm what actually happens is first of all we log into npm which is using the registry or token and the npm token that we created which is also in our circle ci pipeline and then we publish to npm so now you can see the package is published if we go into npm you can see here now our package is published and if you go into it you can now see this is our package so to install it what we can do is copy this and then install it using npm install in another project so that is how you would use circle ci to be able to create and handle your automations if we go back into the pipeline you can see we have a load of steps that are being worked and configured in here and then essentially what happens is the pipeline itself gets run and then it does all of the jobs for you so you don't have to manually do them yourself so that is everything complete in our project anyways hopefully you could create your own component libraries and upload them and share them on the comments if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one